G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to pouring your heart out. Now, I've got my new mold. I told you when I did my cow that I was working on another mold and this is it. It's a little bit bigger, same, same height, but as you can see, a um, little bit sort of wider than the cow. So that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm also going to do it in two layers. So I'm gonna do the some of the hair first, and then when I unmold it, I'm gonna stick it down onto some contact paper, and I'm gonna fill in the rest so that um, it won't look like this. See how there's a lot of like negative space? I'm gonna fill in all these empty areas here, see? Hello. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna do with the lion. Just try it out. So I'm gonna go with brown tones. I'm gonna try this one. I kind of want it to be transparent like that, like the cow. So this is Burnt Toffee by Lorez. That's the, that's the two colors there. That's the Burnt Toffee, the darker one, and then the other one I'll show you in a minute. So one, two, three, four, five. Not sure how much to use, so we'll just put it there for the moment. And we'll see what that looks like. So it'll still be transparent, but hopefully it'll be nice and dark, a nice dark chocolatey color. So that's that one. I can add more in a minute if I think I need to. So this is the other one, the deep amber. It's more of a, a brown. It's gonna actually give it a squirt. Give it a squirt. This one can have a squirt as well. Push that to get some in, in and then squirt. There we go. That should be enough. Put those out of the way for a minute. And then I thought I better have a, a third colour. So we'll see what these two look like. It's a bit hard to tell in the cup there, isn't it? Because it's quite dark. So I'm going to do the browns and accent the nose and eyes and things like that with the black. And then I'm going to come in with this lighter, sort of creamy lion mane colour. So that'll be in the next step. So this, I've got this one as well, alcohol ink. And it is called Burnt Sienna. So we'll see how that goes for the third colour. Let's give that a bit of a squirt as well. I don't know that that's a... I might be transparent. These are, these are good. You can just sort of turn the little nozzle off. So that's those three. They look quite nice. Dark, darker, lighter. Lightest. <laughs> so that's that one. Now, if you're doing this sort of thing and you don't want your colours to blend as much, you can wait until they've thickened up a little bit and then pour them if you don't want your colours blending. If you're not fussed about blending, then you can pour straight away. This is the Platinum 360 Plus that I'm using, and I've made up 250 grams, so about a cup. I did 175 grams of A and 75 grams of B. I'm not quite sure how much I need yet, but we'll see how we go. I've got a little bit left over there of my clear resin as well, just in case I decide I want to use more of one particular colour. But these are about half full at the moment. Now, this one's just a black pigment paste. This is Cast and Craft squirt a little bit in. I like it because you can actually squirt it in without having to, you know, dig into your little tub of paste. Um, and I haven't really used it for much, so I thought I'll use it today. There we go. So that's the black. And I'm going to, I think I'm going to do, um, I might have to do the black first. Because I think if I do the browns first, it might run into where I want to do the blacks, but we'll see. I'm going to start with like the outside of the mane. Um, what can I use to point with? I do want to do um, the mouth and up here into the nose and around there, like around the muzzle. I want to do black. And up here, I want to do black and sort of around here, or all, all around the eyes and the, and the mouth. So in the center sort of thing, I want to do all black. Um, and then 
when you unmold all those other pieces these raised bits will be this color so I think that's what I'm going to do so let's anyway let's get started let's get started and I'm using these because I can pinch them I'm going to come up here and make sure that we're still taping walk around are we still taping are we taping oh yes there it is <laughs> I've got my camera flipped around the other way now Oh, I couldn't see. All right, so here we go. Um, we'll just get started, shall we? I'm going to pour that one all the way down there. Oops, there's a hair. Of course, there's a hair. I'm just going to take these sticks out. I'll wipe them later and then I can use them again. And then I'll use some of this one. See, it's a different, different colour. And it's up to you, like, how, how kind of big you want each one to be. Like, if you want to continue it all the way down like that, or whether you just want to do little short bursts of colour and really mix it up and blend it. You can do that too. Now I'm going to put a little bit of dark through here and because the resin kind of spreads and does its own thing and, and blends you'll have to sort of come back and top up later on I don't want to put this dark brown too close to the center because then you might not be able to distinguish it from um, you know the black in in the center so I don't really want to do too much of the dark I might go down there there we go all the way down <laughs> all right see that that little bit's dripped in there that, that won't matter I think I'm going to put some black in now and that's going to go up here and push that bit of brown down I'm just drizzling carefully I just thought you know the, the black would be nice against that creamy color that I'm going to do later on so I'll do that and then I'll put a little bit more mm, hang on, no, I need some more black this bit needs to be black too <laughs> this is why I thought I'd just do it slowly little bit by little bit because that's his eye there I'm looking at it upside down it's a bit tricky that's his eye all right now this one a little bit in there But yeah, I will come back and you know top up, and then round is muzzle, muzzle, not a nuzzle. It's a muzzle, isn't it? Round here, I want this bit to be black as well. I'll put a little bit there, and then sort of put some of this other brown next to it hopefully they won't mix up too much but when you come to do your last little sort of finishing off bits and you think oh the blacks run into the brown or the browns run into the black you just go over the top with, again with the color that you want so it's not a problem And I didn't make up all that resin because I thought I'll wait and see which other color I need before I mix it all up so I'll pop that in here this is fun you guys it's good for those people that want to be a little bit more artistic you know and I just want to do the same old um, 
coasters all the time, you know, if you want to do something a little bit different. It's quite dark, this chocolate brown here. It almost looks black. And you can use a, a toothpick or, or a little stick to push into some of your little points. all done now it's the next day and I'm going to unmold this and pop him down on my contact paper and then I'll mix up some more resin so I'll just do this first rather than having the resin sitting waiting and thickening up while I do this oh, look. <laughs> oh, I love unmolding so much fun just got to take your time with it. It's lots of little pieces, but they come out really easily. Let's do a section at a time. I'm just kind of pulling from underneath, like just pulling like from under here. The mold itself is like these pieces here are. 4.5 millimeter yeah 4.5 millimeters so in thickness not sure what that is in inches it's not real thick um, I, because I didn't want to make the mold too expensive now that the deeper your piece is um, the more silicone it uses and then the more expensive the mold is so I'm trying to sort of make it a little bit more affordable for everybody but not using too much silicone there it is it's out all right so I've just got a few little areas there I just have to you know pick off these little bits before I can use it again but there it is all right so we'll put that off to the side for a minute now you can't really tell much against the dark background but this is my contact paper, the sticky paper that you use to cover books. There's a couple of little areas there of overflow I'll need to tidy up. It's just come off. Okay, um, now where's my scissors? Turn it over onto the back first because then you can see where your lines are, you see. Lines, ha! <laughs> hmm. Lions. My scissors aren't very sharp. Alright, so that's how much we're going to need. Now then, let's see if I can find how to separate these two. It's always a bit tricky working with this paper because obviously it's sticky on one side, so wherever you touch it, it's going to stick to you. Yep, there it is got it so we want the sticky side facing up don't stick it down on your board <laughs> you want it sticking up all right peel that off try not to get it 
folded over or creased and then see if it'll let go of me. All right, I'll just pop it there. I think that's about centered. All right, now I'm gonna put the lion back up. Now, it doesn't really matter which way you put your piece, but oh, trim, see this tiny little bit there? Trim off any little pieces that need trimming first. Let me just see if I can get that. I need my little scissors. Actually, I'll get my little cuticle scissors. These, these are really, these are really handy. Little cuticle scissors for trimming. Oh, there we go. Flip somewhere. All right, so you need to kind of decide which way is going to be up because you can either have it that way or you can have it that way but I think I'll have it that way the side that I've poured so just going to basically drop it down push it down all over I'm hoping this will have a good seal <laughs> I don't know I haven't done this before um, Probably would be a good idea actually to wait until my resin was a little bit thicker just in case it wanted to run under. But this will be the top. So make sure that you've pushed it down all the way. There we go. Seems to be holding. All right, so I'm gonna go and mix up my resin now. Uh, make up this creamy color. And I'll put you on pause. I'll be right back as soon as I've done that. Oh, it looks so cool from up here. It looks quite red, but it's more of a more of a brown, that's for sure. Righto. Got my resin mixed up. Uh, don't touch the plastic with your gloves, will you? And I put my cup down on there and eh, hey, don't put anything on there. It's sticky stuff. Alright, here we go. So this is the Lorez Expressions. It's called White Sand. It's more of a creamy, yellowy color, but that's it in there. Now, let me just clean off this mixing stick and then I can dunk it in. Give it a good stir. Whoops, don't touch me plastic. It's going to be it's going to be an opaque color oops i think about that much will do and i've got my little paper cup there that i can use to fill my line oh i was thinking too you know how i said choose the back or the front well the back's going to have to be the back because the top it's got like a little lip there you know when you don't fill your mold up to the top you get that little lip or rim around the top so the top needs to be the top if you're going to be doing this. Hope this works, otherwise it's going to be a huge mess, isn't it? <laughs> I'll pour a little bit at a time. I think I've pushed it down everywhere. I think you can get different um, like stickiness as well, depending on what sort of contact paper you buy. That you can buy like the more expensive ones would be much stickier. I think we're good to go there. Alrighty, let's clean that off. Oops, I've still got a streak. When I clean my stick, I've got a streak. There it is again. It's because I've got paste on my stick. Let me clean off my mixing stick because I want to use him again tomorrow. Alrighty, here we go. Let's pour in here and don't overfill it. No more than halfway. Otherwise, it's really difficult to um to pour <laughs> all right i'm going to do a little bit first here just a little bit and make sure it's not going to leak before i continue all right don't leak now go be careful too that you don't over overflow into your other areas i was thinking about doing like two different colors but i thought no i'll just stick to the one because it's i think it's quite busy enough like with all the other colors um, I know it looks very dark. The dark brown is very dark. It looks almost black, doesn't it? So, yeah, next time I won't make it quite so dark. 
And if you didn't want to do a cup like this, you could use um, a syringe. You could use, what could you use? You've got to be really careful that you don't touch the plastic now and try and lift, lift this up. Because if your glove sticks to it and it lifts up, that's all going to tip out. So be really careful. Um, yeah, a piping bag, a syringe, whatever you want. I've just got these little cups, so I'm using my little cups. And I won't fill them up all the way. I'll just let the resin run into all the little areas there, all the little points. And then I'll come back and, and fill it up as necessary. I'll just let the, because I, I can't pour into the little points too much. I don't want to go over, I want to overflow it. So I'll just do what I can and uh, let the resin flow in. Now the little area, see I've gone over there. This is where you get your little baby wipe out. And just do that. Clean up any areas if you have gone over, because remember this is going to be the top, this is what you're going to see. How's it looking so far, guys? Is it looking pretty? And then you definitely need your little bit of paper towel to catch the drips so that it doesn't drip everywhere. So I will put you back on to fast forward. Um, I'll do the rest. And then next time I come back to you, it will be time to unmold again, so to speak. Not that we've got anything to unmold, but yeah. So I'll just put you on fast forward. I'll finish this. And then when it's all set up, uh, I'll come back to you and we'll see what it looks like. So I will see you tomorrow. I'm thinking about doing a little bit of blue in his eyes. I might. I haven't got any resin left though. I could put a little, mix a little blue in there. I might, just to add a little bit of interest. Add a little bit of blue to my leftover cream and see how that goes. <laughs>
Ta-da! There's the front. What do you think? And do you like his little eyes? I'm going to bring you down for a close-up. Stay right there. I'll come and get you and bring you down. Alrighty, now we're down here looking at it. I don't know why my camera is so dark. When I have it on photo, it's really light. And then as soon as I put it on video, it goes dark. So there we go. There's those gorgeous blue eyes. I really wasn't sure whether or not adding a little bit of blue mica would work. And then I put a little drop of blue ink in as well. Just baby blue. So it's turned out really pretty. So you can see the different colours there of the tones of, of brown. There's his little nose and his mouth. It looks so cute, doesn't it? I love it. Hope you guys like it too. This mold is available in my eBay store. If you want one, I'm just trying to zoom out again. Gosh, all right, it's not letting me. So there you go. Um, I will put the link to my eBay store down in the description below. And um, yeah, like I said, if you want one, grab one. I can only make two a day though, so I'm sorry if everybody wants one. <laughs> you just have to be patient. I'll, I'll, I can only do two a day, so there we go. But you will get one. If you want one, order one, you will get one. All right, I love it. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And uh, I'll see you real soon for the next one. Okay. Bye for now.